In this particular chapter, we will specifically look at using the CRS CTL utility. The CRS CTL utility will help identify specific rack components. It will also show us how we can start and stop those particular rack components. I'm going to go ahead and do a right mouse click and go ahead and open my terminal. Now, because we are using CRS CTL commands, the environment that we need to be working in is the ASM environment or the grid infrastructure environment. If we were using server control commands, it would not matter, but the CRS commands as a rule of thumb need to be under the grid infrastructure environment. So let me go ahead and set my environment. So it's .ORA ENV. It's gonna be plus ASM1. Because I'm on node one, I need to set that to ASM1. If it was on node two, it'd be ASM2. Now we can see that my environment is set to my ASM home or my grid infrastructure home. Now I'm going to navigate over here to my Oracle home and I'm going to my bin directory. When I go into my bin directory, I'm just going to do an ls. There's going to be a series of commands here that I'm going to be interested in using. If I do an ls crs, that is going to give me all of the crs commands. In Oracle 11G Rack R2, we will strictly be using the CRS CTL commands. We will no longer be using any of the CRS underscore commands. The CRS underscore commands were used prior to 11G R2. For example, they were used in 11G R1 and in 10G. So please keep in mind that we will be using CRS CTL. The other series of commands that we're going to issue, one is called OLS nodes. OLS nodes is going to help identify the nodes that are available within the rack. This is going to be very important, especially when we get to the point of reducing the rack or adding nodes to the rack. The other command that we're interested in is if I do an ls OCR, we're looking for the OCR check and the OCR config. If I do an OCR check, this is going to check the status of the OCR file. If I do a OCR check, Dash local in Oracle 11G R2, we're able to check the location of the local OCR. Now, here it did give me an error, which is kind of important to note is that the OCR check dash local flag can only be issued under the super user account or the root account in a Linux environment. If I do an SU dash and I switch over to the root account, I can then issue the OCR local command. But first of all, I have to set my environment variable. So I'm going to set this as plus ASM. Now I do an OCR check dash local, and that's going to give me the location of the local OCR file, which is a little bit different. In Oracle 11 G R2, we have two types of registry files. We have the OCR, which is the Oracle cluster registry, which is common for all nodes within the rack. And we have the OLR, which is a local file, which contains the same information as the OCR, but it's local to each individual node within the rack. Let me get out of here. Let's go ahead and start to take a look at some of the CRS CTL commands so they can help identify our rack components. I'm going to verify my environment variable. Let's go ahead and type in echo oracle underscore SID. I'm in plus ASM1, which is what I suspected. Now I'm going to issue these commands CRS CTL stat res. CRS CTL is basically your CRS commands. STAT is short for status and RES is short for resource. And these are going to identify all of the resources that are available on my rack environment. Now, if I scroll up just a little bit, we can say this is the name of the resource. This is the type of the resource. Now, the target is do we expect this particular resource to be online or not? The state is what its current state is. So here we can say we expect it to be online for both node one and node two, and its current state is yes, it is currently online for node one and node two. This is going to identify all the very important resources in our cluster environment. We will have disk group resources, and you can notice what we have the data disk group, we have the FRA disk group. We have a listener resource, and this is our regular listener like you would typically have with any other database. We have our scan listener. The scan listener is going to be unique to the 11G R2 rack environment. That is the scan listener that's actually mapped to the listener scan. 
you connect to the scan listener, the scan listener then sends a request to an appropriate listener, which then will connect you to a surviving node or an available node. You can see here that we also have a disk group for rack. The disk group for rack is going to contain the OCR and the voting disks. We have an ASM resource. We have an EONS resource. We have our networking resource. Here we have the GSD resource, which is offline. We have an OC4J, an ONS resource, and then obviously we have the database resource and all of our VIPs, Rack 1 and Rack 2, and our registry and our scan. So we have all of these available resources. The ones that have a targeted state of online and that they are currently are online are the ones that we are very interested in. If the targeted state is offline, we really don't care too much about it because the rack doesn't expect it to be online. But if the rack expects it to be online and it's not online, we have to specifically take into account why it is offline and then potentially bring it online. The other command that we can issue is a CRS CTL stat res dash t and if you give the res dash t that's going to give it in a tabular format now i said that you don't want to use any of the crs underscore commands but there's a command which is called crs underscore stat and if you issue that as a crs underscore stat dash t that command is still okay to use it is really the crs underscore stop and the crs underscore start that we no longer want to use but I kind of like this command because it shows it to me in more of a tabular format. It says, okay, this is the resource. This is its type. It is expected to be online. It is currently online for this particular node. So when we talk about the rack resources, we are looking at disk group resources, network resources, database resources, listener resources, and scan listener resources. We'll use the CRS CTL command to see if those resources are actually available.